I think in your memoirs you wrote about profiling Amitabh Bachchan, and you you mentioned that you could never get very much out of uh, Mr. Bachchan in an interview. So you actually hung around on the sets and spent time with him, and then you know got to know him better. Yeah. But I find him uh, actually uh, so controlled in an interview that you can't. It's very difficult to get him to say something he doesn't want to say. Yeah, but that's a reflection of what he's like in real life. Is it? He is very controlled in real life. You will never get him to say anything unguarded. Even when he's relaxed, I think he's very, very careful. You ask people, "What have you heard Amitabh Bachchan say bad about people, other people?" You rarely get anything because he may hit them, but he won't let you know. Hmm. He he's was, really he, very he, guarded. He, he, he was your friend as well. Yes, he was. And and I think I remember you before wrote, he joined politics. To be yeah, fair. and I, and one of the things you said was that it was a mistake for him to join politics. And yeah. I asked you this back when your memoirs came, and I'm going to try it again because sometimes with the passage of time, people are willing to say more. Does anybody know why he fell out with the Gandhis? Nobody. Do you know? Nobody. Neither side. I mean, I've asked. I'll, uh, initially, you try and be polite, and you think it'll come out. And ultimately, it had just gone on too long. So I asked both sides, and they had no answers. What do you mean they had no answers? Why are you not friends? You ask Amitabh Bachchan. Why are you and the Gandhis not friends anymore? No, we're friends. Isn't there a problem between you two? No, there isn't. Where do you go after that? When you look back at that moment, which you know it may be a political detail, but one remembers it well. When Sonia Gandhi uses a sort of technicality and Jaya Bachchan against Jaya Bachchan in Parliament, that was how the story played out. And everybody said, "This goes back. This is vendetta. This goes back to you know old grouses." Did you see it like that? No, I don't think so. I, I don't think, from what little I've seen, Mrs. Gandhi, I don't think she's particularly obsessed with Jaya Bachchan. And when, if you remember, we were talking about the Office of Profit Issue, when they turned it around. On her. And she had to then. No, she didn't have to because Manmohan Singh said, "I will pass an ordinance and I'll make sure you don't have to." And that's what the media were told, if you remember. And I told you she would, if you remember that. I do remember that, that she would never do it. She would much rather resign. She resigned for another election. So what? Why, why do you think that entire issue erupted at all? I don't know. I don't know the genesis of the issue, but I mean, given the way she behaved afterwards, etc., I doubt very much if it was something as petty as wanting to get jail. Mm. That's not her style. No, no. In all the things she's done, it's very hard to find any kind of vindictiveness. So look at Sharad Pawar, mm -hmm. who said the most terrible things about her, and when they had to form the UPA, she went to her. But that she, could be pragmatic. Yeah, but, but throughout the time in office, people said she will take him back and will humiliate him. She continued to be very respectful. 